Color grading can make or break your edit. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I color graded this video step by step. Not only am I gonna be teaching you guys all of my secrets to perfect color grades, but I'm also giving you access to all the footage that I am using so you can practice color grading at home. So in today's episode, you're gonna be learning how to create a cool blue look, split toning, and matching shots. And again, if you'd like to follow more closely, you can download all the footage in the link in the description below. This will give you access to these amazing clips, allowing you to create spec work for your own personal portfolio. I will also be throwing in a sound effect pack and my glitch transitions to help you keep creating. If you do download the footage and end up color grading it, please send me the footage afterwards so I can highlight it in my next video. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that we need to do is normalize all this footage. So let's go ahead and grab all of our footage and go press create new timeline using select eclipse. I'm going to go ahead and just call this color grade and I'm going to unclick this, go to my format. All these clips are in a 1080p, so click 1080p over to color and then I'm using a DaVinci YRGB color manage so click DaVinci YRGB color manage and then just go ahead and click this if you're using a PC come down to your output color space and change this to rec 709 gamma 2.4 but since I'm using a Mac I'm going to go ahead and just keep this as rec 709 scene and press create that'll bring all of our scenes over into the edit page so all of this was shot on a Canon so if I right click so I come up to my media pool Grab all the clips by pressing Command A, right click, come down to input color space, come up to Canon, and then press Canon Log 3. And that will go ahead and normalize all your footage. And now we can start color grading these clips. Let's head over into the color grade tab, and I'm going to go ahead and just turn all these off really quickly and just keep this clip open. Let's turn on our nodes and our gallery really fast. What I want to do is create this really kind of blue image that you see over here. I have a reference image for it right here. So I want to create a really, really cool look to this. I don't want this to be bright and vibrant. I want it to be kind of dark and a lot more blue than it currently is right here. I want to create this look that you see right over here in this image. So in order to actually be matching colors to a specific palette, what you need to do is come up to these three dots, come to split screen, turn the split screen on, and then go to split screen again and do selected still images. And now you can see what I'm trying to do is kind of create the same look from this image right here. This is a really great way to practice color grading so you can actually get your clips to look exactly like other clips do. And now you can see I have both of the parade forms over here and I'm just gonna start trying to match this as closely as I can to this image over here. So you can see that we're way overexposed. So I'm gonna go ahead in my HDR wheel and I'm gonna bring that exposure way down until it's matching this other image, which is somewhere more around there come over here to my gamma just kind of put up my gamma wheel a little bit put up my shadows we can bring those shadows up just a hair bring gamma down and then bring this down too. bring those highlights down and increase my contrast just a little bit okay already we're way more into the ballpark than we were just a second ago we're now a lot closer to where we want to be and i want to go ahead and go into my white balance now on my white balance, I always like to go ahead and just change this to a linear and then bring my little mix down. And this will just give me an easier way to actually white balance my image. I'm going to turn off my split screen really quickly just so I can be close to my screen. And I'm going to focus on my gain wheel right here. And I'm going to be pushing a lot more blue into that image right around there. I'm liking that. I think that looks really good. And of course, always label your nodes. So go ahead and right click label. This one is exposure. So that way it's easy for us to go back and fix these later. Go ahead and label this node. We're going to call this white balance. So WB. And then my next, I'm going to go ahead and call this one saturation. Now for saturation, what I like to do is just a little secret that all the professional color graders use. Bring this down to my color space, change it to SSV, hue, saturation, and value. And then I'm going to turn off the hue and I'm going to turn off the value. So now we just have pure saturation. So we're no longer adding luminance in our saturation and now you can actually use the gain wheel right here and i'm just going to pull out a lot of that saturation and i'm going to go ahead and just increase the contrast a little bit right there pull out some of that saturation some more let's go ahead and just see what we've done so far really quickly we fixed our exposure we fixed our white balance and we decreased that saturation and now we're kind of getting right into the world that we want to the next thing that i always like to do is i like to add a split tone and a split tone effect is simply just adding some warmth into the highlights and some cool tones into the shadows so let's go ahead into our splines right here press option and create a little point 
I'm going to put this point somewhere along there. I'm going to click your link button, go to your reds. I'm going to push some reds into the highlights and some greens into the highlights. And you can see what that's doing. We're just pushing a lot of warmer tones in those highlight areas. Grab my reds again. I'm going to just pull it out of the shadows. And now you can see how much that actually did. That just added that little extra flavor into our image. And now we can keep going forward. Let's go ahead and right here. All I want to do now is just kind of dial in some of those colors. So I'm going to go ahead into my spines again and just dial in some of these colors. So these blues, I want to be, I want to be a little bit less saturated. So I'm going to bring down some of that saturation and maybe just put in a little bit more teal, something like that. And then her skin tones. Let's go ahead and just kind of play with these and just see where we can land. Maybe somewhere right around there is really, really good for me. Again, you just want to be doing minor little tweaks throughout the entire thing. Don't be pushing things too hard. And you can see how much that that just did to the image right there. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add one more node. And I'm actually going to turn this into a parallel node so I can you create a nice little vignette. So I can control some of the lighting. So press Option P. That'll create a parallel node. I'm going to go ahead and create a power window. Put this right on her face and make that nice and big. Soften it up a ton. And then grab the blue Go ahead and grab the blue output and stick it into the alpha of the bottom channel. Come down to the mat and change that mat. And so now you have two opposite nodes. In the top one, I'm going to go ahead and just link these back up and push a little bit of brightness back into that portion. And then right here, I'm going to go ahead and just bring this down to just create a small little vignette. So that's looking really good. And then my last couple nodes, I'm going to go ahead and label this as my sharpening. Do that as sharpening. And then my film look. I'm going to go ahead and label this as a film look. Okay, on the sharpening, let's go here to this little blur icon. If we click that, we can come down here. We can pull this down to about 48. That'll sharpen the image up nicely. Then in the film look, press shift space bar and type in film look creator. It'll go ahead and add an effect. I'm going to go ahead and just do a clean slate for now. Come down to the bleach bypass and I'm just going to push that bleach bypass up a little bit to really control the colors of this image. And then from there, I always like to add a little bit of grain. I like to do a 65 millimeter, bring the saturation all the way down. And then I do add one more thing, a split tone, just to push in colors a little bit more, especially after using that bleach bypass, because you can see how much of the color that we actually took out of that. I'm going to go ahead and press enable split tone, do strong. You can see if I push this up, you can see what it's actually doing to the colors. And again, I want a really, really blue image. So I'm actually going to Pivot this all the way to the blue and just push in just a little bit more blue. You can even bring that bleach bypass down a little bit. I'm going to push in some more blue and then just slowly bring that bleach bypass. And we can come to our exposure and just kind of play with our exposure right here. I'm going to bring that gamma down and just push my highlights up just a little bit. Okay, so that is the look we ended up creating with this image. You can see how much we're actually pushing this image and creating this really dark, moody, cool look. So let's really quickly go through it. We fixed our exposure, fixed our white balance, did our saturation, the split tone effect, managed our colors, created a parallel node to control our lighting, and then we sharpened it, sharpened our image, and then we added that film look for that final little touch on the image. Now, of course, what we can come over here and do is add a still album, right click, grab that still, go over to another one of our clips, come right here, and now we can go ahead and right click and press apply grade. And now we have that grade applied to this clip. Come over to one of these clips. These ones are a little bit more ex higher exposed. So right click, put it in. And if it is like that, you might just have to add a little bit more exposure and bring down the gamma a little bit. And now that's looking really, really good for me. Let's go ahead to one of these clips over here. Again, we can just grab this, add that. And for the most part, all you need to do after you add your color grade is just go into your HDR wheel and just kind of fix a lot of the exposure. And that'll be the majority of the, what you need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab all these clips and apply that grade. And now I can just go through and just kind of see what's happening and fix up random moments of these grades that we need to. I think that one looks really, really good. Now, there are some, there is some drone footage. Now, this footage does need a lot more help in terms of making it look really, really good. So right here, like on this shot, we just have to mess with the exposure. So we can bring that lighting down a little bit, bring that exposure down, and then increase a little bit more contrast and play with the gamma to just get this right where we want. Maybe boost those shadows just a little bit so we're not clipping them. And if you just crank on the bleach bypass for these, it will work really, really well. And of course, you can always just come into here too after your split tone and maybe bring down some of that saturation in those blues just like that to get the look that we're currently going for. Or you can just go for your own look entirely. 
This clip right here was a clip that I really, really liked in the final edit that I used. And again, you can see what we're doing. You can see what we're doing on this one. I did change the split tone a little bit to just have it be pivoted more around right here to give it a little bit more warmth. Because again, if you're watching what that split tone is doing, when you pull the amount up and that pivot, come over here. And people always be kind of weirded out that I do two split tones, but it's literally just to add a little bit of extra color at the very end of my color grade. And now you can see we started right there. And we brought it right there to a much more filmic looking image than we had before. If any of your clips are looking noisy whatsoever, just go ahead and add a node before your exposure. Shift S to create a node and then come over here to your motion right here. Click that, go down to three frames and then bring this up to around seven. That'll go ahead and clean up your image a lot if you are seeing any type of noise or need any type of noise reduction. Hope you guys learned something and enjoyed that video. And of course, if you did download the footage to practice, please send me any type of color grader edit that you do so that I can highlight it in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and well, love ya. Thanks. Bye.